championship uh, tournament this year. After being in the finals and several semifinals, it was a great achievement, and I congratulate him. And uh, you know, on my side, I gave it all. It was an absolute uh, pleasure and uh, an honor again to be a part of this this uh, this match, this final. Thank you. Slightly different to, to last year. Um, you know, it was last year was one of the toughest toughest moments in my career. So to, to manage to get the tournament today, it was unbelievably tough match. Uh, so many long games, and I don't know how I managed to, to come through that. But that final game was unbelievable from three match points. So I'm just so so glad to, to finally win. Cherished victory that he was after the devastating loss a year ago to Roger Federer. No tears this time, but gracious thanks to the man who helped him get here. And I've never had a chance to hold that, that beautiful trophy, John, that you held three times around Lenda, who almost got emotional there, almost behind the glasses. Well, I'll tell you, he was in three finals, and he's one of the all time great players, and it's turned out to be one heck of a coach because he's really brought this guy in a another level. So. Murray admitting that last game after it was just a blur. It was a hit on that last game. Perhaps one of the best championship clinching games you could ever ask for. Can you imagine what must have been? I can't. What must have been going through his mind? I mean, with all the expectations, everything he's had to deal with. But what's been amazing about watching Andy Murray is to watch his continued passion for tennis and to get out there and to do it. And he's learned, we watched him learn. I don't, he's still in disbelief. You're coming to tears now. Yeah. A little bit. Well, think of what he, where he was in that last game at 40-love and then down a couple break points. You know, chances to, 
to get all the semis unraveled.